All right, now we get to the good stuff, the skeleton. What we talk first about is the differentiate between the axial and the appendicular skeleton. And then we want to go straight into the cranial bones as well as the facial bones, the skull basically. Well, we have the bones in our body, and that's the skeletal system. And when we start looking at the bones, our first differentiation is between the axial skeletal system or skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. And here, it's kind of nice the way they draw it here. You can have the bluish part is the axial skeleton and the uh, bone, the brownish, beigeish part is the appendicular skeleton. So the axial skeleton is like the axis of us, the center part. So that includes the skull with the little ear bones in it, the hyoid bone in the front of us right in here, um, the chest plate and the ribs, the stern is the chest plate, so that makes us our thoracic cage, that's also axial skeleton, and then the vertebral column and that includes the sacrum, which is the lowest part of the spine. And that's the axial skeleton right there. And then everything that's attached to this axial piece is the, are the appendages and they make up the appendicular skeleton. So those are the upper and the lower extremities. So the upper extremity includes this pectoral girdle. If you go to the gym, you have these buff guys. They work out in all these muscles in the front, the man boot muscles sort of. That's the pectoral area, so the pectoral girdle uh, speaks sort of to the shoulder, uh, including the scapula as well as this clavicle. The scapula is the shoulder blade, and the clavicle is the collarbone. They attach then the upper extremities to the axial skeleton, and so the upper arm bones, the humerus, and the forearm bones, the uh, radius, and the ulna, they are all. Uh, appendicular skeletal, so is are the wrist and the hand and fingers. And then in the lower extremities we have the pelvic girdle, and that's the pelvis. That pelvis in itself is made up of three bones called the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. They are fused together, so when you see a pelvis it's one bone, but in a, in a um, uh, fetus they start as three bones independently. And that pelvis right here, that connects the sacrum to then the upper thigh bone, which is the femur, and then we have the knee with the patella, and then we have the uh, fibula and the tibia, and the ankle and the foot, and those are the lower extremities. Um, and that's the second portion of the appendicular skeleton. So to review here, the axial skeleton is the core, the center, and the appendicular skeletal are the appendages. What needs to be uh, paid attention to is that the shoulder blade, the clavicle, collarbone, as well as the pelvis uh, are the places where we move from axial to appendicular skeleton.